Hey guys, the Fragmentic Sage Quest just came out to RuneScape today, but before I jump into that, I'd like to give a few shoutouts. Now, the first batch of shoutouts I'd like to give is to the content team of my website, which has been adding a lot of content lately. Marshy, Optimum, Raji, and Juan. And they've just been doing a great job adding content, and I'd like to give them a shout out to thank them. And the second one is birthday shout out to Sly J. Sly, have a happy birthday, man. Figure turning the light on might make me uh, wake up a little faster. Um, but back to the Fremenic Sages, you, you can start the Fremenic Sages quest after you free Skeladron from the Dohaemon Frozen Floors. And to free him, you must have at least six Dungeoneering level and be playing on a complexity level two or up. After you free him from the Dungeoneering Frozen Floors, you want to speak to him on the surface near Momoros and Thok. Now, there's three parts to this quest. Well, three feminine sages to this quest. The first one's Three's Company, which is free to play and members. This can be done on floors 1 to 11 in Dungeoneering, and you're going to be looking for a bear skin. Now, you have to have 11 Dungeoneering for the abridged, and along with the abridged, if you want to go unabridged, it's 30 attack, magic, and range. Now, the abridged mode is kind of where you don't get the whole story and you don't get as many rewards. But the unabridged mode is where you get more rewards, more experience, the complete story. It's just all in all better than the abridged mode. Now, the second stage is called Vengeance, and this is members only. You find a collection of swords on floors 12 through 21 and that takes 23 dungeoneering for abridged and for unabridged it takes 55 agility and thieving the last one in this listing of sages is thock it to them this is members and you have to find scribbled notes on the floors 30 to 40 this takes 59 dungeoneering for abridged mode as above as 70 strength for unabridged. In the other news, they say that they took the skylighting effect that they put into Port Serum and spread it across the free land. So I'm guessing that means that all free to play areas now have the lightning, the lighting effect that Port Serum got last week. And it looks, it looks pretty cool. If you wanted to see it in your members area right now, all you have to do is teleport to the Grand Exchange and you'll be able to see what they've done. They've given a slight graphical rebuild to Relica, if you want to go check that out. And that's pretty much it for that update. Um, I really hope that y'all can enjoy that quest. I hear it's very, um, very entertaining to do. I haven't done it because I don't do quests, so I'll probably be maxing out my account before I actually do five more quests, you know, honestly, I don't do quests, so, yeah, I hope that y'all can enjoy this quest, because I hear it is enjoyable, I'd also like to thank y'all for watching my video, and I'll be making the behind the scenes video right after this one, so I hope y'all look forward to seeing that.